the edge length of a space centered cubic cell of an ionic substance is 508 picometer right if the radius of the cation is 110 picometer the radius of the anion is now what happens in a face centered cubic unit cell there are the atoms are present at the corners as well and the uh, they are present at the center of the spaces right now for a fcc lattice see this is one of the particle another particle and they all are in touch with the central particle right so in this case this is your face centered cubic lattice now for a face centered cubic lattice your edge length edge length is this right edge length is what a and it is given by 2 into cation plus of anion right what is r plus r plus is the radius of cation and r minus is the radius of anion right so what is the edge length edge length is 508 picometer it is given and is equal to 2 into radius of cation is given as 110 picometer plus radius of anion so it would be 508 is equal to 2 into 110 would be 2 plus 2 r radius of anion right or your radius of an ion would be equal to 508 minus 220 so what it would be it would be 8 8 and 2 288 right so your r minus the radius of an ion would be 144 picometers right so you have got this radius of the an ion okay so this was the question from solid state right students in a cubic system we have got another relationships also between the radius of sphere and the edge length you must be knowing this that for or i can say in a simple cubic structure or for a simple cubic structure what is r equal to that is the radius of the sphere present in the unit cell is equal to the edge length by 2 why so because in your simple cubic unit cell what happens that the spheres present in the corners are touching each other i made it very big i'm sorry for that this is the thing if i am drawing the sphere at the corner now these spheres are touching each other right so what is the edge length equal to it is r by 2 sorry uh, yeah 2r 
Now, in case of a body centered cubic structure, that is B body centered cubic structure. So what happens in a body centered cubic structure? It is that the one atom is present at the center of the body. Right? And the particles present at the corners touch each. They don't touch each other. They are all touching the central sphere. Right? The one which is present at the center. So for this body centered cubic structure, what is radius equal to? Your radius is equal to square root of 3 by 4a. Right? So the radius is equal to square root of 3 by 4a. And in case of, you just calculate it by taking this diagonal. I'm not going to cal into calculations over here. Take this diagonal. This is, this is a right angle triangle. Your hypotenuse square is equal, hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the base and the height square. And you can calculate this, right? Now for a face centered cubic structure, What is the thing? That the particles for a face centered cubic structure, the particles are present at the corners and they touch the particles present at the center of each faces. Right? So the triangle goes like this. You have to calculate the face diagonal and all. Now here the radius of the particle is equal to square root of 2 by 4a. Right? So the radius of each sphere can be calculated. Radius is equal to square root of a is the edge length. Right, students? So, uh, what I advise you is don't go deep into the derivation. Do remember the formula because these formulae are, the questions related to these formulae come in the exams. They are asked in the exams basically. And you can clear your concepts by just deriving this formula. Okay? In case of this phase centered cubic lattice, you can take this phase diagonal. And calculate your phase diagonal will be equal to 4R. And that will be equal to the this thing, the edge length A square and 2A square, right?